starting? What am I looking at? You? Whatever. Either or. I can look at anything I want. Right. Okay, no. we're on it then. Yeah. Go on, Jay, lad. Podcast time. The sort of podcast, isn't it? Yeah, I'm fishing now. We're having catch hey, up Go podcasty. Ahead. It's that solid here. Go on the room. bit. Right, so here's the thing. Would that be classed as being an illegal fish? No, that's because I left right my top in so I've just been and cupped out a bit of bait, but I left my top kit in there. <gasps> have you got have your rig out of the water? Oh, Obviously yeah. there's some venues where you can feed in what do you reckon? I don't know, you go too controversial, just throwing in there. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> right. We're gonna talk about silverfish campaign, aren't it, that we've been Yeah, how's yours going, on. Jimmy? We'll come into that in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> How's well, going you haven't even <laughs> waited a little bit before you ripped me a new one. I'm only asking how yours is going, mate. Yeah. Honest. <laughs> Not as well as your carp fishing career. Shut up, dick. Anyway, right. So, <laughs> <laughs> Shot each other down in one beer. <laughs> <laughs> Silverfish, yeah. So every year, that is the new routine that we have in it. We get to October time. The carving kit pretty much goes away and we focus on the many, many silverfish competitions that are around now, isn't it? Yes. I think it's that on the flyer, isn't it? And yeah. Angling Trust one as well. Yeah, yeah. Angling Trust one, Gazza's one. There's lots in there and random silverfish matches as well. It's, like, just, it's just nice, isn't it, catching lots of fish when it gets cold. I'm going to show you silverfish in a minute, folks. And that's what... Oh, <laughs> no, nobody. Nobody likes them for. <laughs> Every time, isn't it? Every, every time. Like, so, go what were we on about? We're going to have a catch up, yeah. <laughs> so, so, what was the first one? Was it Macon's? No, Larford we shard. Oh, Larford. Oh, yeah, yeah, Loving yeah. That you was ages ago. Larford. Larford. And that weren't no silverfish side. That, that, were... was, that was still summer, wasn't it, basically? Well, it's it the first so silverfish match I've ever rocked to with just meat and pellets. <laughs> catch some meat cuts, <laughs> didn't you? Me, I remember you saying, it took were, it. it. I'm going to arguably say that is the best silverfish match I've ever been involved in in my life with how many fish got caught that day. It's ridiculous. Like, I don't. I can't even remember what people caught, but I'm. Matty have 120. It was definitely over 100, wasn't it? I've yeah. had like 70 pound or something, and I think I was pretty much like second to last in section with yeah, that. It was ridiculous. In your 12 pegs, it was ridiculous. I think Jordan was fifth with 85 you, pound of silver. I mean, everyone <laughs> carp, but you had many carps, didn't you, Rich? Many, many. But carps that, that's probably worth saying. That was a weirdest, Roach. weirdest thing I've ever had fishing because I was next to Matty, and Matty had. Uh, I think. It started off on pellets, I think I'd done the same. Yeah. And it had been very, very carpy, we'd both caught lots. Yeah. And he swapped to meat and suddenly Catch started catching skimmers. Yeah. And it was dead weird. This, like, yeah. st stop catching um, carp altogether. It was just like, bream and chuck, bream and chuck, bream and chuck. And I was being stubborn. I was like, well, I'm not, like, I was catching carp. I was like, I'm just going to catch more carp on meat because carp like meat as well. And yeah. then eventually, with like an hour and a half to go, I was like, ah. Oh, We'll give it a go, sort of thing. Way, way, way too late. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, change over it. Literally, it's just like clunk, skimmer, no carp, clunk, skimmer. skimmer. <laughs> uh, like time of day might have been a bit of a factor, but it's literally gone from catching carp every time on pellets to, oh, I'm just going to catch a four pound bream every put in, and I've been <laughs> for that that spell. I've been like catching a lot quicker than Matty was. It's probably slowed him down a bit. So I've probably really messed up on that by yes. not fishing. I, I, I was in your gang. I also messed up on that one. I should have won. Mm. Andy what? Neil beat me, didn't he? I, had, I was so in the other section. I had six. That, that was pounds. when you like you were on like your little top kit thing, weren't you? And like putting loads of fish in your net yeah. and catching I everything. Yeah, top kit with baggots, and then I fish meat and meat. In fact, they put a clip of you on there, and you're like, "It's mad how quick you were catching fish." Yeah, it's wasn't solid. it? But yeah, I, I just got it wrong, not rotating. But that was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah. But that one didn't count because that was carnage, like carnage. And it, that's going to be, in fact, the theme so far, hasn't it? That because it's been so warm, carps aren't they? Just carp are a pain, aren't they? They're, they're almost spoiling it a bit, aren't they? A yeah. little bit this yeah. year because there's so so many carp feeding. Oh, Mel's friend, we will chat to Mel in a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, carp have definitely been spoiling silverfish at the minute, haven't they? Yeah, everywhere we've been. Like you and me went to where did we go? Aston Park. Did we oh, yeah, yeah, one, didn't you? Many many carp in the I didn't put Aston. many, did I? We did late. Last two hours, carp brought the show, didn't they? Is that what you nearly did him, Rich? Skimmers, didn't I? Lost an eyed. Well, you caught a couple of skimmers. Well, yeah. I got many carps. But anyway, that was very carp based. I think Makins is probably worth mentioning because I think we all got that quite wrong. Yeah, got that Yeah, so Makins, um, yeah, you should have been fishing that, shouldn't you, Rich? Yeah, so what, what, what happened, mate? Andrew? Well, I failed miserably on the. Uh, hey, up, where are we going? I failed miserably, folks, Roar. on a match that should have been put out at uh, Aston Air. So that got aborted because I couldn't catch any fish and come last. <laughs> uh, so then, yeah, Rich had to do some filming at, uh, at Makings. 
and it was all right actually i really enjoyed it even though i got beat by 20 pound for the lake uh proper nice days fishing 40 odd pound of uh, skimmers but as you said we got it completely wrong at the start mm. in that we thought we'd go down the pellet route didn't we yeah. and it just wasn't right they it wanted was... loose feed oh yours wanted loose your leg oh. was completely different to mine 10 out of 10 that jay lad beautiful uh it was obvious from like very very early on uh, that they wanted loose feeding. Uh, maggots, casters didn't really matter, but having Cam opposite and then Matty, Matty Dawes, uh, next to him, they were both loose feeding, both getting regular bites. So as soon as we started doing that, we started catching fish, but carps were still a problem on that one. Yeah, it was just temperature on it. Yeah, definitely. I don't think I had carps. I had your, a couple of carps, I didn't have carp problems. I had your mics fell off. What's dangling? I'll go on the dangling Blue. mic. What, what problems did I have on that one? You got bashed up off the neck peg by someone with worms. Both sides, I got <laughs> annihilated both sides. Daz Davis beat me by ten pound that side, and the bloke to me right annihilated me. Mine was loose feeding was the problem. What and I brought carp in? I loose fed and didn't catch, and they just fed and left it and absolutely ruined me last hour. That's mad. What they put loads of ground bait or something did they? Not loads, but fed it and left it. Right. Okay. But how's that been this year? Because we've been different yeah. venues, haven't we? We've been yeah. a bit all over the place that like you two really have. <laughs> yeah. And we're learning or seeing lots of different ways I, of feeding for silvers, aren't we? I, I think it's times of year as well. Obviously, we've yeah, not really had a, a season like this where it's been mild for so long, and that's why that ground bait's still working. Yeah. Obviously, the colder it's get, when we're normally on our silverfish mode, it is like more pellet in it. You yeah. know what I mean? But I think that for, for I them. I apologise, like... Dave. <laughs> I apologise, <laughs> Dave Brooks. No. Don't so, for fat. anyone just listening, Andrew has literally just netted a no, no, two not. ounce roach. He, he's not. put it back in so he can. I'm not. There we yeah. go. He's regained man points by swinging it. Thank you. Right, you lads, very, very sorry to interrupt your video watching. How but dare you? Quickly, if you haven't already noticed, we have managed to write a book, haven't we? Yes, we have, Which Jamie. It's full of all our very bestest methods and features or whatever else we do on this wonderful subject of fishing. So if you haven't had a look already, go and have a look at winningways.shop and buy one for yourself. But that, that micro y stuff is all. It needs to be the right lake, doesn't it? Yeah, I think right lake, right weights. Yeah. Right size of fish. It's that silty, isn't it? Silty. Yeah, we're just, we're doing the wrong thing in at the club. wrong venues where we've been to. I think, yeah, yeah from, from where we was going last year, I, I definitely felt I, I was like very one dimensional where if it was that, you knew, you knew you could be up there. Yeah. But then you go to somewhere, especially bigger venues, you're making tall cross where it's yeah. more open water, a bit more naturally feeling. Yeah. Um, and you need to feed a bit of ground bait. It was suddenly like, especially that first match at Allcroft, you were like, oh, this is. Yeah, you two different. just spent two or three days in your case up at Allcroft, didn't you? Yeah, it's frustrating. Uh, again, carp have just like wiped me out both days. I, I got it completely wrong on the first day, on the Friday, in that um, I just got two guineas short, put a load of bait in, started off on pellets out long, didn't work, so then went down the ground bait route and put, put, just put too much bait in, basically. Have you? So. Give myself a kick, did it proper the day after, and I only literally in like five off, I topped up six times in five hours on that long line. Yeah. But if fish have ticked over all day on it, I had like 28 pounds, I've caught nothing short again other than carp, but it's been lovely on that long line. I felt as though I got it right, but it's just that short line, as Rich sorted on, on the Sunday, yeah. uh, that's like boosts your weight up another like 20, 20 odd pounds. It's massive there. Really. I don't need. think that was sorting it, that was just. Being on them. You yeah. say that, right? I don't know. You've been there a couple of days. You know what I mean? I've not. I've not done an, enough different that it's like you can, you can tell when there's fish in a peg, can't you? That yeah. that's the difference. Where I've gone straight in on that on the Sunday, and you just can tell there's fish there. You're getting indications and you're getting movements, and it just felt like you're in a totally different area of the lake. And yeah. even the long, like, even on that long line, the the smaller skimmers you were catching were bigger than the smaller skimmers on, on the other side. Were they? Yeah. yeah, they were probably like, the ones you were catching on, when I was on outer were like three, four to a pound. There's some like proper tiny ones. Mm. These, it was sort of two, two to a pound sort of thing. Do you think everywhere has been a bit like that? A little bit peggy because there's still so many quality fish feeding? Maybe. A it's few places have been like that. Yeah, you definitely, notice a size like certain sizes in different areas it's I mm. Hallcroft seems more so where 
you've got your different sizes and different species even in some like there's little corners that are quite perchy and stuff there really? and i think yeah that's quite andy, a perch, aren't andy we? geldart had a day didn't he he was like second in section just caught roach and perch yeah did he? so yeah, there's so... definitely like but i think that comes down to knowing venues and knowing yeah. what you're fishing for in in what areas yeah you lads fair play going up there that is the one place that i feel it's very i mean we spoke them lads know what they're doing up there we, a we lot we spoke to uh ollie ollie scott on mm. and he's like i've not figured it out then rich says well surely your dad's figured it out and he's like no it's different every time he goes yeah it says it all doesn't it you know what i mean yeah like learning venue in it then we're like five times can't sort it out it's just it's nuts it does yeah but I d yeah i still even though i had that better day on the sunday where that's I today where you qualified for go on gazes Gaz, yeah on the flyer on the flyer tv i don't like I definitely felt like getting that long line right, kind of cutting it, going away from pellets, yeah. just feeding little nuggets of ground bait and being dead active. Because that, that was the biggest thing, which I think And mentioned was lift, like, I know you don't like it, but lifting and dropping. No, that makes sense. For there, yeah. it was dead right, because you needed to fish your light, little faffy strung out rigs to get the bites, but you needed to be having the bait moving all the time to get the bite. So. Yeah. They if you would be on the bottom, no, yeah. they just wouldn't take anything that was settled, wouldn't they? It was mad. No, so it was sat on bottom, it didn't sat on move. bottom. It's almost and like it this, all, this it's like that now because it was so deep as well. The, the trouble with it, with it was Jay, because it's like seven and a half, eight foot. Hmm. It's taking too long to lift your whole rig out and lay it in again, yeah. So yeah. Obviously, by lifting it, you know, like normal, that's like a normal lift, like three or four inches, yeah. It was like a good sort of 18 inches, but drop it, and then all the tight lines, so you could get like that fall back, wouldn't it? Yeah, so that's how you catch them. Was it? That's how they want. Yeah. Even the bigger fish were like that. Yeah, like that. Ones. <laughs> but that that was the other thing as well on that short line. What George sort of put us onto was, I think the first time I was proper trying to be get fish it on top of where I thought the bait was, yeah. and like holding back. Well, you're against trying the to toe. fish it carpy. Yeah, that's how you'd fish over pellets for car. Yeah, and I was trying to like fight the toe, hold it in position, and it was just messy and horrible. And then speaking to George, who's pretty much got that place sussed, hasn't he? Yeah, him him and Matt good. are just ridiculous on there. Yes. And he was like, yeah, just let it go. Because he, he was saying like, sometimes he's like a meter or two down, down toe of the bait. And that's yeah. where you're getting your bites. And it was dead right where you let it run through and eventually you find a little area where- Obviously you're always feeding in yeah. the same spot. Because yeah. you started feeding to where you're getting the bites and you're going to another- Oh, you're making it scatter. Yeah. It? Will's always been a big advocate of that, haven't yeah. you? understanding where your bait ends up. I mean, it does, that happens so much when you're putting amounts of bait in, doesn't it? Yeah. On big open venues. Definitely. We well, don't have to worry about that tapping 10 pellets in on no. the pokey yeah. ones. But no. we're saying like- Big I ones are different. I suppose by the time you put it in, there's some that's drifted naturally. And once you've got fish feeding and spitting it out, it, it must, it'd be dead interesting to actually see underwater after like yeah. three hours of putting in. Well, they could even be sitting downstream of your bait we anyway, need to, Do you know what further? we need to do? Yeah. We need to hire out a swimming pool that's... Uh... <laughs> well, <laughs> stock it with skimmers. Or right, just get you paddling your feet you get, at one end to create the machine tone. on it. Yeah, I'll, I'll go in. You know what I mean? like that. But, but no, so it's going. How's it going whoa, then, Whoa, chaps? whoa, whoa, whoa. We've, we've, we've got another qualification. Well, that's why I led it onto this, on how's it going, chaps. We've not yet, folks, you know what I mean? So, so Rich, where Richard's 50% there. Yeah. He's in, you haven't even, to be fair, you're 100% there because you haven't even had a go at the Angler Trust yet. Well, I've had three yeah, or no, four tickets that I've not been able to go to. It's been a, an annoying one Yeah, not for probably. various we'll reasons. get on that soon. Jay, do you know how I caught that, caught that pair? On the cave. On the cave. Yeah. Give you head. <laughs> right, we caught so many more perch today than when we actually <laughs> fished for perch. <laughs> I'll just point that out. We have actually. <laughs> what, perch yeah. like maggots, not red yeah. prawns? They don't like prawns and flipping crab sticks. They're funny enough, <laughs> they like eating maggots. So, <laughs> what we had about, yes, yeah, so Richard's there. Yeah. You came last week. To, I'm going to say that was your first Gazers one. It was, yeah. Was so I've done one angling trust and one Gazers. Did you do Gazers first time last year as well? Have you got 100% yeah. qualifying yeah, record? Has, I, mean. I have. On. In Gaz's ones, but not angling trust anymore because Cam beat me. Gutted. Yeah. Yeah, uh, 100% Gaz's. You came, yeah. we went to Birch House last week. Yeah, it was good. Did you, uh, yeah, no, in fact, I called me Peg, didn't I? Yeah, I look at my swirling <laughs> and, my, and my guys. I called me Peg, didn't I? I said oh, 28, 28, 28. Put my hand in the bag, got 28 out, 
And I'm like, yeah, but and then Jay's like, no, not that one, you bell end. It's 26 you want. Yeah. I'm like, well, so, he, oh, right. so he called your peg, but he called the wrong he one. He called the yes. wrong peg. He wanted the end peg in the section. I was convinced it was 28. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> but a it was one. a nice peg. It was. It was. It was one you had 60 pound off, wasn't it, in that two days? It's yeah. where some big ones seem to live. Yeah. What, why do they live there? A bit more room, innit? I think. don't know. That little bay. I think you've got more room. You've loiter around it. You definitely got more room than anywhere else. But... Yeah, but you think they'd live on the point? You think they'd be on 10, 11, 12, 13, wouldn't you? Mm, I but don't they know. just don't. No. Right weird that lake. But yeah, lovely. You've sorted my pellet fishing out and it was amazing. Yeah, little yeah, bobby nice bits day. of pellets. Caught steady for like two and a half, three hours out long, little runs of fish, two and three skimmers. Come short, catch a roach, go out long, catch another skimmer or two, come short, catch a couple of roach. Was it a very busy swapping? Yeah. Day? Lots of carp though. The last 90 minutes I've only put sort of like, well I know exactly how much I've put in my net, like two pounds, because I've got a perch, pound and a half and two four ounce roach that was, that was it. it just many carps many carps yes. but lovely days fishing 26 pound and we're through mm, good one vacation. proper so how are you doing in yours anyway jay lad i hate fishing <laughs> i've never fished i fished i don't know three gazes larford makings and birch house yeah. yeah and i fished two angling trusts which angling trusts have you done what have you done i've done aston park oh yeah yeah Oh, and Holcroft. Feel like I've done another. They're not Holcroft, Makings. Aston Park and Makings. Are they the ones I've done? They're the ones I've done. Makings. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I ain't won a penny at any of them yet. Oh, yeah, I have got section by. I got my section at Aston Park, but I had an easy section now. Oh, did you win section? Yeah, I had an easy section. Oh, what happened at Aston Park with you, Richard? I nearly had him, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think he was on the next peg. I, I, yeah, Drew. Li literally, next peg. Literally, we chatted all day. You, you I don't knew... think he gave me COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gave him COVID though. <laughs> nah, it, we like to share those. We, we, we knew, like, that was one of those days you, you said, oh, I knew I was going to I like, next knew. to you. It was weird. I drew my peg and I went to my van and I drove back and I could see Rich and I knew he was going to tell me he was next to me. Like, and I had no idea and I knew. <laughs> really? Right, weird. Right, weird. It was a nice so day, wasn't it? It was, that, that was very different, wasn't it? That was, that was a most I've seen a lake shut down. It was it, just a typical I'd like in yeah. it. So you like caught for an hour and then that was it, was it? One of for an hour and a half on it. And there's nothing Second else in there. Second hour, a few fish. Last three hours, F1s. very, very little. A li little arrival of skimmers at the end long yeah. just to scare you. Yeah, he had me flapping at the end. No, like roach or anything like that to go for? No, there were no roach. It literally really... just went, like, done, didn't it? It was, like, nice and steady. Yeah. Only Matt was the one ticking over and he didn't catch a lot. But he's, done it, he's gone more like traditional ground bait, ground bait route. And it's I think that's one, like, because I drew next to him at Makings, didn't I? And I was opposite him, or we were opposite him at Aston. At Aston yeah. It's scary how much better he actually is. That boy oh, is a like, joke, isn't it? I'd put Jordan in the same gang as him. Yeah, know? yeah, George. Them cool. two, when it comes to commercial silver fishing, they're horrible. Amazing, aren't but they? In a I way. Know. I love them both. They're it, horrible at that. They're so good. It was, because this is the thing, I think, uh, Holcroft. Pitch. Why are you catching all pitch now? Is that roach? Go on. Pitch. It, it'd be so easy to like, with that short line, pretty much what I've said before, oh, you need to be on them. But yes, to a degree, but no, because you look at Jordan Matt and Denty as well, he's another one that yeah. everyone oh, yeah, says yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. You'll keep up with them, you'll tick over through the day, and then it's that last hour, hour and a half, they'll always catch you on that short line, no matter where they are. Yeah. They're doing something Different, better, I don't know what it better, is. Better is the word. It's but better, isn't it? Present, they're just understanding and feeding's bang on, isn't it? It's as well. weird, because but ha, what are they doing that's so much better? Because they, they're they not good. I bet you could sit with him and watch him. I know. I, I have with would, Matt. Well, you have done that. I filmed, we filmed that live match. Yeah, and it doesn't feel anything. Did you catch the short just, line that day as well? Yeah, it wasn't ridiculous, but he's caught. Cool. And But they do it every time. And you, like, you speak to Jordan and he'll go through it all with you exactly what he does. It's not hiding anything but it's just the little sexy bits that they don't even know they're doing yeah and that's it innit they, they literally don't simple as taking for granted innit yeah just understanding that oh, i'll put me ring in that way and it worked but they don't tell you that because they don't think it was it was significant it's just it's just frightening at catching anything silver or spiky aren't they yeah I, yeah but i suppose it, it's it's nice that there is still lots to learn with it and oh get yeah better right. at. and i think especially on that going away from the, like little pokey commercials and like the bigger ones as I well I feel I've got a lot to learn on that side well, of things. We've got we've got to come now. Yeah. Which is a massive amount to learn, isn't it? Yeah. Depending on which lake you're on. I'll draw on one, I always draw on one. Yeah, well that's all right, just fish pallets. <laughs> <laughs> that's all good. That, that big in's like yeah. I'm so definitely not much. gonna fill it in like last year. I'm no, not like... balling in doesn't seem to work on there, does No it? it doesn't. 
It does when you're on your own. <laughs> but anyway, so that's the point we're at. I'm sulking. These two are all happy and taking the piss as much as they possibly can. <laughs> and yeah, that's what it is. It's, it's going to change now, though, isn't it? We've still got a few angling trusts. Yeah. There's like quite a few open matches coming out I'm looking forward to. Doesn't yeah, well, yeah. A nice, chilled out, non-travelling, yeah. th suppose fish ones. Do you not think being... you've at the start of a silvers match, you almost have to commit to what you're doing a lot of the time. Ooh, yeah. It's not like carpy matches, because you're not feeding a lot. You can swap and change quite easily, but yeah. silvers, you almost have to get it right at the start, especially yeah. if you're feeding a quantity of bait and stuff like that. Yeah, your buckets, everything, yeah. what you put in at the start. Yeah. Oh, it is, isn't it? And I it, like that. I suppose when you go into a venue once for a qualifier, it does make it a lot trickier, because you've got a get it right, but you could know you've got it wrong after an hour, but not be able to sort it. Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to venues we don't understand as well, which doesn't help. Yeah. And They're all this size, aren't they? Little fat five ounces. <laughs> Go on, Andrew. Oh. That's uh, a bit big for sixes, <laughs> isn't it? He's that's hey, like that's, spawning. That's fat, a female one, that. Definitely. Yeah. When do they spawn? One. February. Not, not February, isn't it? February, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm. So yes, that's what we're at. And away. Isn't it? Bit of a podcatchy catch up thing. We've got something else coming up, haven't we? We've got Old Up Final, where we go and get to catch some carps in yeah. two days. Yeah. But after that, we're back on it. You've still got some Angling Trust ones, haven't you? Uh, we all no, I've cancelled them all. All? I've got, well, no, I've got two left, but not till January in February. Uh, no, doing? December. I'm doing Bradshaws in January. And what's the other one? There's a Braddies in December. You must be on I that. I might be on that one then. Yeah. yeah. Braddies in December. December and January, the only ones I've got left. So. Oh, Baden All. Baden All, that's it. Is that that's in January. And then yeah, Bradshaw's in I've December. Got, I've kept Baden All. I'm looking forward to going there. That'd be good, that. Are you on them other? Oh, they're doing them qualifiers there as well. Yeah, well they've they started, haven't they? No, oh, no, no. Is that the feeder only one? Is it a feeder one? They're different ones. Kingfisher. Kingfisher. I'm not. I don't think I'm doing any fishing because I'm going to be a full time book packer from now on, I think. Yes. And we're a full time book signer, is. Ah, that. send. <laughs> ah, send. Yeah, so I, I was going to use that as a pluggy thing, but I don't want to. Don't don't buy any books, because yeah. then that means I've got to pack more. <laughs> more <work to> <laughs> Can I get a stamp with, like, signature on it? Just I think that'd be amazing, <laughs> wouldn't it? That's what we want. Yeah, yeah anyway, so stamped. Yeah. Any, anyone who gets the early books is going to be nice and neat. Like, buy so a what thousand. Do say, what did we say you had to draw now? Mine's a power. What was yours? Squirrel. I'm not, I'm not drawing a squirrel on every book. So this is a squirrel now, folks. Mine's with parrot. Jay's got a squirrel. It's got to be a squirrel. Or that, a kingfisher. That's a new colour. No, a squirrel. It's you got do be a squirrel, squirrel yeah. it? Or a woodpecker. You do like them as well. It's got to be a squirrel. It's got to be a squirrel. It's got to be a squirrel. But anyway, yeah. yeah. It. Selfish campaign. It's going well for some of us. Others it isn't. You'll get there, Jay, lad. Cheers, mate. You are like you, don't you, every now and again? Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, someone's got to turn up to win your load of money in a final, well, so fair, eventually yeah. I'll get Get yourself qualified, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> it can only catch F1s. Yeah, only catch F1s and carp again. So, crack on and get on with it. Go on, mate. <laughs>